These Muscovy eggs have been in the incubator for just about four weeks now. They have just over a week left and they're going to be going into lockdown in a few days. I've also started a batch over here of turkey eggs. These are some of the heritage breeds and several of these were started about a week ago. Others were started just last night. And so I'm going to do some candling of each of these so you can see how it looks at different stages of the egg development and um, we'll see what we can see. So I'm going to turn off the lights and I'll be right back. All right, we've got our Incubrite here. We can illuminate the room with it. Works as a flashlight too. This new Incubrite is really slick. It's got a nice uh, rubberized end and extremely bright LED. So the flashlight lasts forever with the battery and uh, just works great. Oh, you can see it's we caught it right at its turning time. Cool. All right, let's take the lid off and see what we can see. We'll start with the Muscovy first, then go over to the turkeys. And you'll see these at very different stages of uh, development, which is kind of cool to see when you're candling. It's nice to have things to compare them to. So I'm going to take the lids off and we'll see what we can see. All right, starting off with the Muscovy. And I'm going to have a hard time getting a good seal on this only because I'm doing it one-handed, but I think you'll still be able to see some good stuff in here. So let's do this. Okay. See if I can get a little bit of a grip. Okay, that would be all right. So you can see there's a nice air pocket forming and um, a big vein up there at the top. The, the bottom end is getting darker. You can't see much, and that's because it's getting much further along in development. That's very normal. Let's see another one, see if we can see anything different. Again, you can see the air pocket at the top, lots of veins at the top, and then it gets really dark at the end because of its stage in development. Back here, I think we get a better focus, perhaps. Let's do one more. Let's do this guy right there. And uh, probably can't see it too much in the camera, but I can actually see these guys moving inside. Ducks are cool because they like to swim around and they make a lot of movement. Yeah, it looks much better in person than it does on camera, but uh, I can see a lot going on in there. That one. Yep, you can see that guy moving around. You might be able to see that on camera, I think you can. Yep, just swimming. He's saying, turn off that bright light. It's bright out there. So those guys are doing great. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the other incubator. I'll try to put the lid back on this guy. These incubators are nice because it's so easy to see in there. And a nice low profile turner. And it's just a very problem free incubator. It's been quite nice for us. Okay, let's take the lid off this guy and see how the turkeys are doing. All right, here we go. We'll start with the ones that are about a week old and see what we can see there. You can see in there, you can see some nice veins forming. Now, these turkeys will take about 28 days. You can see some movement, a little bit of movement in there. Yeah, look at that guy go. Again, he's saying, turn off that bright light. Let's see this guy. We've got some, some veins. Yeah, a little bit of movement in there. Coming right along. It's amazing after a week how much you can see. Now these were just placed last night. You can see the distinct difference, how clear it is. Now, if these guys are good and fertile, a week from now, this one will look like this one. That's what we're looking for. Movement going on, veins shooting out of the shell, just doing awesome. So you can see what one week does in the, uh, the life of a turkey egg. In a chicken egg, you can see even more distinct development because the incubation period is a week shorter than turkeys. So there you have it, the uh, IncuView in action and the, uh, the new IncuBright showing us what's happening inside those eggs.